Hey everybody, it's day 155 of Training Daily Excellence. My name is Brad Gieske. Today, we are talking about General Adaptation Syndrome. Or in other words, how your body responds and adapts to stress. Now the first phase is the alarm phase. In this phase, we'll experience soreness, stiffness, some reduction in our energetic stores, and a decrease in performance capacity. This may last for hours, days, or weeks. But when we continue to add that same stress or a slightly increasing stress, we'll get into the next stage, which is the resistance stage. And so in this stage, our body adapts to the stimulus and retor- returns to normal functional capacity. Now, if this stress is an appropriate stress, if it's not too much and it's not too little, and it's not for too long, then our adaptive responses occur in our biochemical, structural, and mechanical adjustments. And so that will increase the athlete's performance capacity, your performance capacity as a soccer player, with something called super compensation. Now what's important is to realize that we adapt to the stresses put on our body. So if you don't want to adapt to be an endurance runner, then don't add the stresses of long distance runs to train for soccer. So you have to put specific stresses on your body that you'll experience in the game of soccer in order to achieve those same benefits from that stress adaptation. And there are times, other times in our training cycle when we wanna apply other stresses um, to decrease our overuse injury and also to build our base for performance capacity. But in general, you want the stresses placed on you to match the demands of what you're doing on the field. And so sometimes in training, we'll even go to the point of this third stage, which follows the resistance phase. So we have that alarm phase, resistance phase, and this third phase, it's called the exhaustion phase. This is a phase that we want to avoid because it means that we've put too much load on our bodies, either in volume or in continued intensity. And so this is an inability for us to adapt that results in some of the same symptoms as the alarm phase, some of the fatigue, some of the uh, stiffness and soreness that we would, that we would have from the initial response to that stress. Now this may be due to excessive loading, it may be due to monotonous loading, or it may be due due to too much variation in our training routine. So which begs the question, then how am I supposed to ever avoid this exhaustion phase? And it's a two part answer. One, there will be times, no matter how well you plan, that you will slip into this exhaustion phase. And part of that reason is because stress is outside of soccer, stress is outside of the physical demands of soccer, will also play into effect here. So super stressful times in our lives, maybe finals week, can put us into this state, this exhaustion phase. But what, what the key here is have a focused goal in mind. And when you're focusing on that goal, keep adapting and changing your training routine, but not in a way that's just whimsical. Don't don't just keep varying everything every single session just because you can, okay? Because that would be too many training variations and that would also lead to exhaustion. But have a guided discovery. Go forward with your goal in mind. Structure a regimen and then go away from that path from time to time to cause other adaptations and responses in your body and also to keep your neurological system developing. Keep it keep it guessing on what's the next phase because this exhaustion phase will break your game down. So you don't want to stay, stay in it for a long time. So you want everything that you're doing to be done in a way that best serves you on the field. So we want to really sit in that resistance phase, adapt, to the training, and then we need to move on. We need to get a new adaptation. Um, So we need to cause a new alarm, 
get to the resistance phase and avoid getting to that exhaustion phase. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe, and share. I will see you tomorrow. We have the Kansas City ODP camp this week. So if you're a player and you're coming out, I'll see you on the field. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow.